So 2020 has been pretty wild for everybody. I actually uh, had to move twice, once in April and then once in June during the middle of the pandemic quarantine. But, you know, life is a journey. Here we are, progress, moving forward always. And I landed here in Joshua Tree out in the desert. And I'm excited because I've never had like a painting get messy studio space before, like a designated place to just throw paint around and get messy, work on canvases or whatever else I got going on. But this right behind me is the key to that. We're gonna take a look inside here. It's bare bones right now. I'm gonna transform it, turn it into like what I can do for now and make this like a really bitchin' studio space for me to rock out. You guys may have seen the inside when I'm doing character drawings and illustrations and computer stuff, but this is just for painting. I got this space on lease for a year, so let's see what we can do with it while we're here. And without further ado, welcome to the Kipto Castle studio space. Oh, look at my new garage. Hell yeah, I'm super pumped about this. Finally got like my own space. I'm gonna do it myself. It's like a one and a half car garage. Plenty of room for activities. I think this side over here is gonna be like paint storage. This side over here is gonna be like paint action. I got this vision of like, you know, painting four canvases at once and just like hitting them all at the same time. Just imagine. That's the kip action we're talking about. I got the owner permission to build walls all along here so I'll be able to have like nice studio walls instead of like the skeleton. This one's a little short. I'm gonna have to cut this sucker. I got space to use power tools now. Got one small cut for man, one giant cut for Kipto Kind. All right, the least fart pun. The least fart pun. Fun, fun part. My drill's out of juice. He did me good. Gotta uh, tuck him in, give him a little nap, rejuvenate, and then we'll be back in action. I'm actually reusing these tarps from my uh, Colorado bureau, shipping them back home because I hate wasting tarps and it's like so much plastic and now I can reuse it for my home here and I don't have to buy a new one and I don't have to waste plastic. All right, tarps are in place. Next thing we gotta do is paint these walls and give it that background I'm looking for. And I got a plethora of colors to choose from. These are all like leftovers from my mural adventures around LA. Uh, if I don't like it, I can just paint over it later, but I just wanna get that color on here so then we can start rocking and rolling, putting everything in place and organizing everything finally. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this baby blue. 
I ran out of blue over here and I put the gray here. I think this this works so much better. It's like a mid-tone gray. So even if I'm painting over here, like this blue isn't competing with any of the paintings that I'm working on or I think I'm gonna just paint over it with the gray. been able to see all my spray paint at once. It's like semi-organized by color. I think this might be like a temporary shelf with the milk crates until I can build like a real one. But for now, that works great. Now I'm gonna hang out my big long eight foot extender pole up here. Only had one of those fancy ones, so this one's homemade. All right. All right, I got the paint squared away here. Now for the main event, all this studio supplies, all painting equipment, easels, all that jazz going right in this corner. All right, looking like a profesh. The new garage studio it's still bare bones but uh pretty pumped with how it's turned out so far i kind of want to like put a table right here so i can do like smaller projects i got two big boxes of empty spray cans right here they're gonna be turning into cool little art pieces for you guys to buy i got so many cool ideas i want to do like sculptures and all that cool stuff and don't worry these walls are for sure gonna get messy real soon uh the only thing is it's like ridiculously hot in here it's like peak summertime right now and there's no windows or ac or anything so Gonna have to figure that situation out. Bring a fan in here or something. It's nice when I open the door, but it's closed right now. I kind of like it closed. I can have all this controlled lighting and make it look all moody and cinematic and stuff. Super excited for this new little chapter of my life. We'll see where it takes me and uh, we'll just keep rolling with the punches. If you wanna see more content, more behind the scenes exclusive access, question and answers every month, come join my Patreon. We have a cool community getting built over there. If you want to pick up some cool exclusive merch, I got a big web store. You can buy prints, stickers, t-shirts, all sorts of cool stuff over there. And I got a bunch of canvas commissions to work on in here, so might as well get started, baby. Keep feeding that kinetic imagination. And thanks for watching.